There once lived a doctor in a bog full of despair, with no souls nearby, all the knowledge for one to bear. Knock before you enter and leave his dreaded lair, before the swamp awakens and swallows your hollow prayers. Hello everyone. When I said it was just the beginning, I did truly mean it. Builds that will work wonders with your character once Reaper of Souls comes out. So here I present you a Witch Doctor build that works for early torment difficulties and requires no special gear set but can be used to send hapless foes to their graves. Again and again. So let's unearth this buried tomb, shall we? In part 1, I will describe the gear needed for this build. As a side note when making this build, my Witch Doctor stood at 560k DPS with 900 all rares, 370k HP, 2 attacks per second and 54% critical hit chance. You get the picture, right? But please do remember that you use this build on torment level that suits your DPS. Meaning, a 400k Witch Doctor should not attempt torment 4 in Reaper of Souls. With regards to specialized gear, no need to worry. Just find yourself gear that gives you mana regen. This includes a ceremonial dagger, mojo and a Witch Doctor mask to maximize your kill potential. On your braces, it would be great if you could stack bonus cold damage. Nothing else is needed. Nothing at all. So here we uncover the secret that is buried in the mind of Witch Doctor. Your primary attack skills come from throwing a jar of Medusa spiders to slow enemies. Secondary attack of Acid Cloud slow burns does exactly what you intended to. Damage over time. Piranha, our new skill in Reaper of Souls is amazing, especially the rune Frozen Piranhas. An alternative here is Piranado. Spirit Walk's Honored Guest is the next skill that grants you movement speed and mana. Spirit Barrage with Phantasm is a core skill that is used to damage enemies along with Big Bad Voodoo Rain Dance for additional mana or Slam Dance for DPS brilliance. Passives are Grave Injustice, Spiritual Attunement, Vision Quest and Blood Ritual. You can swap out Blood Ritual for the new passive to buff your Piranha's effectiveness. All up to your style of gameplay. How much poison can a Witch Doctor spill? Let's find out in this section. The way your character is geared up, you get nothing special from your gear. Any mana region is great as it helps you with the build but the power of this Witch Doctor resides truly in the build. So every time you encounter an enemy, place a pool of piranha right under their feet. This slows enemies down tremendously which lets you place 3 stacks of spirit barrage right where they are slowed. The damage dealt by this skill is amazing and can stack up to 3 times making you deal a total of 2000% of your weapon damage and at the same time keeping enemies trapped in that area. If mob thinks they can still run away, they can't. Throwing two jars of spiders at them will further slow them down and trigger your vision quest. Monsters will be slowed, they'll take damage over time and you will get mana. It's a win-win for everyone. So now you do the only thing that is appropriate to a slowed enemy. Spam your acid cloud and make their very short day miserable. The way the build synchronizes with itself, you tend to slow everything down in a large area and annihilate hapless foes with the damage you deal from your spirit barrage and acid cloud. If anyone tries to catch up to you, just slow them down with spiders. Your passives help you to manage your mana effectively and if you encounter a tough boss. Big Bad Voodoo will drown them right under your bog and Honored Guest is just a small substitute for when its big brother is on cooldown. Such is our build for Witch Doctor. Give it a go and share your thoughts with the rest of us. The promise of the build is, if your toughness and DPS is suited for a torment difficulty, this build will elevate your farming speed to a whole new level. This has been the Holy Hermit for you and you just witnessed the Witch Doctor build of ice fishing. So don't forget to bring a fishing pole, for catching a bogodile can be very dangerous.